Good morning, book lovers of the internet. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe because for every subscriber, I get a new subscriber and they also read a page from a book of my choice. So in today's video, I am going to be speaking about the books I bought or borrowed from the library in July and the ones I plan on reading in August. It is already the 3rd of August, so I am a bit late, I suppose. But yeah, I mean, there's no harm in doing this um a bit late better late than never i suppose so the first book which i already finished reading which i bought during a book fair so these are the ones i bought during a book fair which happened in ta'ali on the very first day of july i believe the first one is called little penguin rescue i even made a video review about this one so make sure to go and check it out the second one well, it's more of a series, really. It's called the Spiderwick Chronicle series. I read all of these and reviewed them as well, which I also bought from the same book fair. We have The Field Guide, The Seeing Stone, Lucinda's Secret, The Ironwood Tree, and The Rat of Mulgarat. I read all of these, reviewed them, bought them from the same fair. So make sure to check out all the respective videos as well. Fantastic stuff. Highly recommend. Um, next, I have two books which are considered as classics where science fiction is concerned. First, we have Philip K. Dick's Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? And I very much look forward to reading this one, but I first have to finish reading The Man in the High Castle by the same author, because I try not to read two books by the same author at the same time, uh, just to reduce the amount of confusion. And I bought this one because of how beautiful the cover is. And I'm sure you'll agree. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, next is Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes. I've been meaning to buy this one for a very long time. It apparently ruins uh, your emotions, I suppose. It makes you cry dirty. So, yeah, I mean, I've been meaning to read this one for a long time as well. Quite a thick book. I wasn't really considering it to be this long. But, yeah, I mean, I might read it in the next couple of months. It's not at the very top of my priority list. Next, I have a non-fiction book, which I also bought from the same fair. This one is, taught, is called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I've already read the first chapter and I plan on reading much more of it. It's pretty good so far, though nothing new has really emerged from this book. It was written several decades ago, so I'll let you know what I think of it once I am done. Yeah, so those were the books I bought from the book fair at the very start of July. Next, I am going to speak about the books I borrowed from the library during the month of July, and which I am meant to return in less than a week. So we have two books in Maltese, volumes two and three, in the Irvin Vella series. The second one is called Ilkaz Thalgzeir Tatezor. These ones are by John A. Bonello, an author which I had the pleasure of meeting in person. And next is the third one, which is called... Actually, it's the other way around. This one is the second one. This one is the third one. So the second one is called Ilkaz Tasir Itztrambi, and the third one is called Ilkaz Talgzair Tatezor. What I love about the series is how there are the numbers and Roman numerals at the, at the side of the book on the spine. And I think that should be... That should apply to every single series, in my opinion. I think it's such a brilliant idea. Next, we have a book called The Cows, which I haven't really started reading yet, by Dono Porter. Not really sure what it's about, but the title really caught my eye, and I am intrigued by it, even though it's more than 400 pages long. Quite a thick read, um, by my assumption, I suppose, by my estimates. So, finally, the last book I borrowed was um, Joanna Trollope's The Book Boy, which I finished reading. Um, Basically, the same day I borrowed it, I believe. I made a video review about this one as well. So make sure to check it out. It didn't blow my mind, but it was a pretty sweet concept for a book. So yeah, next are the books I received from Waterstones, my Waterstones order for the month of July. So I made unboxing videos for these already. We have the book I am reading at the moment called More Days at the Morisaki Bookshop by Satoshi Akisawa. I reviewed the first one just a couple of months ago, and it got about 2,000 views, which is why I am so looking forward to finishing and reviewing this one. I mean, I need the views, I am enjoying the story, so 
it's a win-win all around. Next, I have this one, What You Are Looking For is in the Library by Michiko Aoyama. Of course, these are all translated into English, so I can't read Japanese yet. But yeah, I love the cat on the cover. I love the cover itself, and it's one of the main reasons why I bought it. And we also have library in the title, so why not? And finally, and the most importantly, we have The Book of Bill by Alex Hirsch, which I finished reading, reviewed, and it got about 400 views already. So yeah, thank you, Bill, I suppose, for all your support on my YouTube channel. Fantastic stuff. So next, I am going to move on to the books I wish to finish reading during the month of August. As I mentioned during my live stream, I don't particularly have a lot of time during the month of August to read because of work and because of my trip to Gozo, but I still plan on reading quite a lot. First thing I wish to finish reading is A Game of Thrones, and I would also love to start reading A Clash of Kings. I mean, I have about 300 pages to go, maybe a bit less, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Next is one by Agatha Christie called Death on the Nile. Um, one, of the, one of the classics by Christie. I mean, I'm enjoying it quite a lot so far. She has a very distinct writing style, and I still have a bit of mixed emotions about what she's writing. But yeah, I mean, I look forward to seeing how the whole thing unfolds. Next is The Drowning by Rachel Ward. I mean, these are some books which I started reading months ago and they just want some completion. Same thing with The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. Some of you told me that I should read this one and I definitely will or want to. Next is Shiver by Junji Ito. I am more than halfway through this one. It will probably be one of the very first reviews of August. Next is The Teacher by Frieda McFadden. I haven't yet finished this one but I completely plan on doing so. Next is, of course, Days at the Morisaki Bookshop, more Days at the Morisaki Bookshop, and What You Are Looking For is in the library. I mean, I want to finish reading my Waterstones order for the month of July in August. And finally, I have The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. The reason I want to read this is because it is very much hinted at in The Book of Bill, and on the website, this is not a website.com.com. So I want to see whether there might be some hidden clues to Gravity Falls in The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, just to see whether I'll be able to uncover any secrets about one of my favorite fan bases of all time. So yeah, that is what I bought or ordered um, or borrowed from the library in the month of July and what I plan on reading in August. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Check out the rest of my content because why not? And I will see you in the next one, hopefully very, very soon. Bye, guys.